Hi, so uh, today I wanted to take a quick look at volume for the top stocks on the U.S. exchange. So I could not find any information on this, and I just didn't trust what other people said. So basically, I went and grabbed and downloaded uh, all the information for the top uh, 200 and say 24 or 200 basically companies, and you're basically looking at that list here so this is a volume for them so certain companies um have an average volume uh per day that is quite absurd um and then it kind of like levels out um so i have another see if i can chart this for you so what i did is i went to the screener here uh under screeners and made my own little screener and just uh, did United States market. Uh, you can also try to add everybody else. On um, that might be a follow-up study, but this is just for the uh, larger cap, so major uh, in, in America. So only 224 companies showed up. Um, and this is over 5 million. So <clears throat> a little bit difficult to sort this for average volume. They won't let you for some reason. So I had to take this out and basically just grabbed everything and brought it into a spreadsheet here, um, which is the one that you're looking at. So, um, and then what I did is I concatenated these symbol names and then uh, basically looked at the uh, dollars traded per day and the average volume. So I sorted this first, this first data study is done on the uh, volume. So the dollars traded per day is actually what I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> but at least you can see volume numbers. So, um, and then that can kind of give me a better idea. So down below here, I had the volume. So if you go down, scrolling down here. Uh, so these are basically all the companies that I had. So then I graphed them and I put it on a log graph so you can kind of see a little bit better. You don't really get to see this tail off very easily easily so right around here basically a drop box you see <clears throat> quite a lot uh drop off so basically the part that i think is most interesting would be basically below 10 million and maybe above so there's actually not a whole lot of companies right um and so here is basically the volume on a pie graph um, so you can start to see basically apple's volume versus these others and actually apple has an absurd amount of volume um, and it's just hard to see everything so i'm not even sure how to make sense of this um, but uh you know basically this is only 200 companies and there's basically about 3,000 total traded on the exchange um, and but basically this is the main guys here so next what i did is looked at uh basically i i, I multiplied the uh volume per day average volume per day and then did that times the price to get a uh basically a, a how much total dollars so that actually started to make a little more sense but i still am interested in volume because i kind of wanted to see you know, a lot of the companies I was trading had sub, you know, a few thousand um, trades or even only a couple trades, you know, per day on some of them, but they were international uh, stocks. So uh, anyway, so surprisingly, and as a disclaimer, I am trying to invest in some of these, um, but um, basically over here on the right is this traded per day. So again you can see that there's kind of like a steady amount of dollars traded per day in this range and then a lot more traded on these guys so basically the world's number one traded company is tesla in terms of dollars and then apple followed by amazon and all those top and and i think i'm not sure the exact number but i think the top 500 companies have about 90 percent or even 90 uh, it's it's very close it's either 70 or 90 percent of the total wealth traded um so actually these 225 companies is quite a bit um it can't really break it down into these but you can kind of see 
how it's changing here. So it may surprise you that Tesla's number one, Apple, Amazon, all this surprised me quite a bit. Um, and I think I have a log graph here. So this is the top top. So I didn't, I couldn't graph everybody here. There's not 200 companies here, but you can kind of see the top segmented again. Big drop after Amazon. And then there's kind of like Microsoft, NVIDIA, Facebook, and so on. So uh, a lot of people following them. Uh, so on the left here, it is actually in millions. So um, you can kind of see here. So this is kind of the threshold. This is on a log graph. That's basically $2 billion per day right at these guys, about Netflix area. So that's maybe in $3 billion. Um, but, uh, you know, just a ton of money on these top guys. And then just very quickly trailing off there um, right around MasterCard, thank God. Um, but uh, you can kind of see here just for the top guys, again, Tesla being a very big part of this whole. So this graph actually has, I think I try to get everything in here. So you can kind of see just this one Tesla being like, bam into everything which is really I don't know that's way out of bounds so uh, anyway uh, yeah I'm not even sure what to say about that so if you'd like to try to do some of this yourself um, basically you can grab the list from volume under uh, the screeners for Yahoo and just set up a screener similar to this and you can even change the numbers like if you're not I want to just do a million I can do a, a new search for that and it came up with 900 or so you can grab that and create your own list but basically the top 200 or so is still going to be the same pretty much the same numbers unless you multiply the volume times the price and you get a different number there so I try to do it as carefully as I could um, and uh, so basically this I had to use this reg extract and then this symbol to kind of grab just the uh, uh, you know just the, the actual number and then that's all in millions I believe so um, and then resorted that you know just grabbed the whole row here and then you know sorted it sorted it by and for some reason it doesn't show up even Oh, well, anyway, there is a way to sort it by row. I think you can, huh, not showing up for some reason right now. But uh, once you grab the rows, you can sort it uh, kind of A to Z or Z to A, going up or going down, and that's what I did. So for some reason, the sorter isn't working right now. Anyway, um, but uh, uh, so that basically tells us essentially the number of dollars per, traded per day and the number of stocks. So I really wanted to kind of get this in perspective of some of the lower, um, you know, I, I don't like to always trade these top ones. I actually have fun kind of looking at international ones and some other uh, ones that have like extremely low volume actually. So um, but uh, that would be a s different, total different graph. So you can see just just a really steep drop off here, and I wonder if it just continues as a steep drop off. But uh, probably what I could do is look at some of mine and graph that as well, um, and just download that into uh, yeah. But I wanted to look at everything first, um, just to compare. <laughs> So I just wanted to do one last thing to make sure I wasn't missing anything. So again, this is the uh, volume times the price. Um, and what you can do here is change, customize the vertical and set it to log scale. And then you can see a little bit more detail. And even that isn't quite great. Let me see if I can change that. Um, so to be honest, I'm not even really sure um, what this would mean in terms of trading. Um, so obviously the more volume you have, the better, but this is also total dollars. So it's basically volume and dollars. Um, <clears throat> I would say there seems to be a couple big gap 
points here. Um, so basically this area, you basically want to understand everything going down this side versus this side as kind of comparing. Okay, and uh, I just made a little tiny URL.com for this whole spreadsheet if you wanted to try to experiment with some of these numbers yourself. Ooh, and then it's just dash or slash Y-X-Q-A-V-T-B-T. So what I would recommend is not doing that, but if you need access to some of the formulas and the details, um, you can get access to that. But what I would do is grab the latest data and just go over to Yahoo and click on screeners and then select your exact screener that you want to do. And then just simply grab it like this and paste it right into your own spreadsheet, maybe side by side with the other one. So you can also change the rows here to do uh, 100 and then it will give you 100 at a time. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to download it, which would be nice, um, but that's life. Um, and uh, you can basically grab it all. So, and then create your own spreadsheet just like this one. Um, and these graphs too, if you needed access to those, you can see. So it's quite a lot of data right here. And I imagine it's gonna be similar to this um, if you did it yourself. Um, and I would for sure recommend doing a log graph like this just so you can see. And again, you just click on vertical access. Once you click on it, um, you can click on the vertical access and it will change. So it's basically under customize and vertical access. And then just click log right there. So uh, that's how you get the log graph. Uh, and then that way you can kind of see the detail in between certain points here. Um, and I, I think there's still a lot of data here, but this is just a starting point, at least for me to get started on what's going on. Um, I mean, there's just so many surprises here. This is the biggest surprise to me, just looking at, you know, right around uh, Dropbox and Fiserv, all those guys just suddenly dropping in volume. Um, and you don't see that interestingly so that's probably a, a artifact of just the fact that the price of a lot of stocks may change at a certain point so that would be interesting so that's why i really wanted to add this multiplication so i basically took the volume times the price so and I would really recommend using this average three month because that's what I used in my graphs. If the volume for a particular day was high, who knows if you're going to be right or not. So there may be interesting ways to take the market cap as well. Um, and But that's basically the market cap is the, is the total number times the uh, other stuff. And another follow-up study that takes a little bit more homework um, it would be also interesting to, to look at the market cap relative to the price times the average volume. So what that would tell you is kind of like the floating. So if you understand what I'm getting at here, market cap is the total, it's basically all the shares times the price. Um, but if you compare that to how much trading is done per day, it would be interesting just to see that. So it takes a little bit, you'd have to convert, there's only a few trillion ones here. So everything else is billion, and I might even just do that. Let me try to do that really quick. Um, so all I'm doing here is I just made a new spreadsheet, and I'm converting these to billions. There's just a couple companies in the trillions. So I think that is everyone. Um, let me just double check. So basically, that's everyone. So there's just a couple of them that I had to change. And then I'll even show you what I'm trying to do. So I'll just do this as uh, market cap in billions. So all I did is I went on these other ones to get this number like this. I did this expression. So if I take that same expression and I grab this guy and move it up I think it's not K though it's yeah that's it so it actually grabbed the right one for me um, and that should actually that's not the right number so I actually want this guy so it's L and I just put in the L here and then that so it just converted it see the three 
67 point something. So if I just click this and then pull this all the way down to the very bottom of my spreadsheet, it will convert all these billions to just raw numbers. And then I can graph it. So that gives me the market capitalization. So what I wanted to do is actually grab this one, insert a new row here, column left, and just drop this guy right Oops, didn't really do that. X, uh, X. So actually, it didn't grab it right. So, uh, but hopefully that will do it. Ah, uh, just still didn't like it. So, um, I'm gonna just grab this uh, same formula here and paste it in here, and that worked. So, anyway, let me pause this so you don't have to see everything. Okay, so I'm back here. Um, so what I'm going to do is change this so it's a little bit easier to read and just change it all to billions and maybe just do a one decimal place. Um, so this is all in billions. So you can see that these guys in particular are ginormous, which is basically Microsoft, Amazon, and Apple. And I don't even know if this is right. Maybe there's been some major changes. So I'd have to double check this, but um, but anyway, okay. So basically, what I did is I took the uh, traded per day, divided that by a thousand, and then to to make it into billions because this was millions, and then trade divided this by the first column. So this gives us the float, which is six percent, right? So now I'm just gonna pull down all the way here. And then we can start to see what the average float is for these top ones. And I don't know if I've ever seen these numbers before, so it'll just be interesting. There's a lot of different data you can do. So on this guy, what I'll do is I'll grab this and convert that to a percentage. So now we have certain companies floating a lot more shares than others per day. Um, and it looks like Tesla, jeez. 6% per day, NVIDIA 2%, some other ones 5% per day on average. So, um, and I'm just gonna save this whole chart and create a new one and just call this float here. So this is just the float numbers because I kind of wanted to study those independently and just paste those in and eeks, got it. All right, so this may take a little bit of changing because I want to copy this over and kind of graph it, sort it. And for some reason, it's not showing me my sortings right now. And there's probably a way better way to do this. Um, but what I've been doing is just bringing this to the front uh, to sort it that way. Um, and then kind of deleting out the columns um, to get the first one. So then that way, once I grab this, I can sort it by floating. So I can see as a percentage of the floaters. So this is just the top ones in the world and we can see. So this way we're gonna get a graph to kind of see what the floating shares are of the highest volume. Um, and believe it or not, this is really important uh, for studying the volume because we wanna see, so okay, these are the top volumes, but how much is floating on a typical day? And for some reason, it won't let me record, I see. So under this column, it has data, so let me record it now. So it's just, for some reason, when I hit this uh, button, so I do this, and this will sort it by percentage, and then it does it by the first column. So then I can see the floaters on the top. Ooh, did I mess it up? I don't think I messed it up. Oh, geez, I messed it up somehow. So I'm gonna have to undo this couple times okay so I think I grabbed it right now so I want to do sort range column and then I think I want to do from the highest to the lowest so hopefully this will do it and then for some reason last time when I went to the top it messed it up so yeah that looks right so this is showing the highest floating percentage um, and then we'll graph this so I'm hoping this is gonna work. So basically, before we get into all these other details, so we're still primarily focused on volume, right? And this is dollars traded per day, so I sorted this by market cap, right? But what I wanted to do now is essentially grab 
all three of these columns. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. You'll see what I'm, so I'm holding down shift and then going up to the top and then hitting control. So we want to graph the, um, the volume traded per day. And then I'm holding my control key down go to the very bottom here and hitting shift. I think that will grab it for me. And then I want the volume. So I'm actually, I'm probably not even setting this up right, but average volume and we're not even gonna do the names. We don't need the names here for this, but uh, so we wanna do a three line graph on this. And hopefully I can move on over here <coughs> and get myself a three line graph. So uh, a little bit hard to see. That's a column graph. We probably wanna do over lines and I'm gonna have to even do this with a vertical axis as a log scale. So you can see the market cap and dollars traded per day. So this is a pretty unusual graph, but it's based on market capitalization. So you can see that the average volume is staying right at around 10 million. So this is the first time we've seen any kind of number like that, um, giving us kind of a pretty solid number to work with. Um, and it's only really visible on a log graph here, right? So you can see that there's quite a dollars traded per day, definitely going down um, as the market cap goes down. And that obviously that would make sense, um, but quite a lot of variation um, throughout that whole range. So if we were to look at the floating, which we didn't quite grab, and if I hold the shift key and I think that should grab, that's just the floating ones. So now what we want to see is floating versus market capitalization, right? So that is going to be a weird number, but it's certainly worth checking just to see. So there I grabbed the market capitalization and then we can even grab, because we got the luxury to see everything now. And I think if I just go to the bottom here, I can grab, oof, I didn't grab everything. So I have to just hold my shift key down, grab all three of those columns and that should grab that. So also wanted to add volume on this. So this is volume and then I'm going to hold down shift and grab volume. So I think I got everything now. So this includes floating. So this is four columns of data. Sorry, a little bit complex. Hopefully you understand this. And we're going to change this to a graph and then same thing as we got to do a vertical log. Otherwise it doesn't make sense. So the floating is that one line now, right? So now we can see relative to volume, relative to all the relative to float. So, so the volume you can kind of see, kind of see market cap. The market cap is actually going up, which is the red line as the floating cheese as the floatings go down and that makes some just trying to think about that so and then the volume relatively stable and maybe even decreasing so as it, that makes some that should make sense right so if the volume is slightly higher on this end the floating should be also higher. And that makes sense, right? So, and then the dollars traded per day, that also should be going down. So the market cap is actually going up, is the only thing opposite that. And that would take a little bit to think about. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Doesn't completely make sense to me, but some, there's certainly two levels here. There's kind of this level in here and then this other level in here. 
<laughs> so uh, to bring this all back to square one, I'm gonna add one more and just do call this a volume of everything. And so if we, we, we really are sorting this kind of based on the wrong thing, right? If you think about it, we want to graph everything proportional to volume. So we have all these numbers now, and now we want to grab it and paste it right in here for volume. Just I like to give an extra line there. It takes a little while to calculate. So the problem is that we need this guy to be the, the main one because that's our whole study right so and if we paste that in it doesn't work so that's great so i'm just going to grab it from the top and paste it in here hopefully that works and it doesn't of course let's see what the problem is ah registract i don't know what the problem is so i'm going to just kind of rework this here so uh the volume is simply just that one number. So equals, so if I take, just say equals volume per day in millions, and that number is always right because I already calculated that correct. So there's some defect in this pasting. It's probably what they wanted to have it be. I'm just going down here and rewriting all those numbers. So now I gotta do the same thing and basically grab I skip the first column and just grab this all the way to the bottom, hit shift as I'm doing this, and now I want to sort it Z to A. So now this is based on volume, so hopefully, and we probably, it doesn't, uh, millions trade, so we're going to have four columns based on volume now. So if I sort this like this, Grab these guys here, I can basically see all the volumes relative to all the other numbers. So as volume changes, we'll see what happens. So grab this graph, let's just bring it down a little bit here, make this, and I gotta change it to the same thing. So I'm gonna do this, and we wanna customize it, vertical axis as a log. Now we have volume. Oof, what happened here? Traded. Hmm, maybe I messed up something. Did I mess something up? I think I messed something up. So, yes, I did. So, uh, ah, not good. So, actually, what I wanted to do is this number should be traded per day. It's actually this line. So what I messed up here is that it should be equals to H, H3. And then all these numbers need to be rechanged. The graph is still correct, but the number was overlaid on top of each other. I was like, ah, oh, where's our volume? So now, ooh, average volume does not look right. So we have to sort it, right? So that hasn't been sorted. That's still another problem, so I'm going to go down to the bottom. I haven't pressed my shift key yet, but I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and shift key and then resort my data. So now column Z and then that corrected it. So let's see. Now you see the blue line is correct. So we can start to see what happen based on volume so as the volume is decreasing now that's this is gonna be the same graph as we looked on the first sheet and actually this <laughs> makes sense to me everything gets worse as volume goes down right so you can say that the traded per day goes down that should make sense right if you have less volume if it's all, if every stock was worth one dollar, and the volume is less, it's less traded per day. And market cap, it does fluctuate, but in general, I would say it goes down. And this is great. This is great evidence. This is exactly why I was looking for this study, um, because I always had this. You know, everyone says more volume is great, and this basically proves it, not conclusively, but 
uh, in general. Um, so not that you necessarily want to trade based on high volume, but if you're comparing two stocks independent of their price or even one stock dependent on itself, you could say that higher volume, you can start to look at that. Right. Um, so there's a lot of data here and a lot of little details. I mean, obviously these lines you'd say, hey, how do you say that this is in general going down? Or even this, does this in general look like going down? I mean, this looks here, and but there's this part and then this part and then this low part here and then maybe an up. So it's 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 debatable, but uh, but in general, um, a great graph. And uh, you got all the data here if you want to take a look. I put the link right up here tiny url and uh, you can try messing around with yourself but what i'd grab is the latest you know there's some companies even on the top 10 or so that i'd say oh my god a year from now are they going to be around um i mean especially when you think about the floating uh you know these floating graphs were pretty interesting um here right so actually on the floating side and we could <laughs> You know, there's so much to do on this. So basically graphing it relative to market market cap and traded per day. There's there's just a lot of different details here, right? So uh, you could go on and on and look at it. Um, but this graph is the one that really is interesting because you want to kind of say so there's certain criteria that change. Like there's a slight up in this range, right? So when the volume's in here, actually it's better to have low volume for some of these right so and it's just it's there's details right um and whether or not this is uniformly true or whatnot but anyway hopefully it has helped a lot thanks